All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. I'm back. And I want to thank, I want to thank, first of all, um, you know, it's, it's good to have folk out there that got your back. It really is. I told you I, I'm running out of memory and every dang go thing else. And that's what, um, that that's why my video production is slowed down. I'm, I'm waiting on a tower to get here so I can't uh, implement more memory just have some more memory to do some more things but in the meantime I want to thank um, uh, uh, Kanza Happy New Year to you too and I appreciate you hitting me up and telling me that the sound was bad you know um, my subscribers are the best uh, and it's one of the videos that I didn't listen to, so I didn't know that it sounded that way, which was like nothing. <laughs> so I appreciate you, Kanza, for uh, pulling my ear on that. I also want to give a shout out to Tafrica. Uh, thank you. Thank you for checking on the sister and seeing how I was doing. I'm fine over here. As y'all know, my dad had COVID. 87 years old and he pulled through. I think the only thing place that it affected him was his legs. Um, but I had to slow down a little bit and but I'm gonna try to do a little bit here and there and and until my uh uh uh, uh memory gets here. Also, I've been doing a little of these creative classes because there's some some new ideas we got coming down the pipe for 2021. Some collaborations. Also, some mental health conversations that I'm going to be having with people who are uh, familiar and are professional in this field. So I look forward to that, that we can have some real conversations with them. And I mean, for those of y'all who participate, ask any damn thing you want. And some of y'all um, don't know. Uh, and I just want to encourage you, if you are ever on um, Blog Talk, please go to To Liberate, which is T-O-L-I-B-E-R-8, in the number 8, To Liberate, at, on Blog Talk, and check out the content there. We're also in the process of putting that stuff on iTunes. Uh, and some of those interviews that I've done on there, which are um, some pretty some some pretty good stuff, done through the Mental House TV. Uh, but in the meantime, in between time, let's talk about what's going on this channel. I'm hoping to get some memberships, y'all, so y'all can join. Also, for those of y'all who email me up, I'm gonna send y'all a T-shirt. It ain't gonna cost you nothing but the shipping of it. Um. And uh, if you hit me up, send me an email, uh, make a comment, and say whatever, and put your size, I will definitely uh, send you a t-shirt until they run out. Um, if they run out, I'm also going to be sending some pins to you until they run out. Um, just to show my appreciation to you for sticking with me throughout the year, through the good and bad times, through the content creation, and through the not having content creation. So... Um, I used to go up and down and try to read y'all names, but y'all grown a lot. <laughs> and since we over two, two, three thousand, I don't think I can, um, you know, recite all those names without falling out. So what I would like to do is to show you how grateful I am for your, uh, support of my channel. And that is to, um, honor you with something so all you gotta do is hit me up and that's what we're going to do won't be one of my puppies now don't don't get crazy with it um i like to say i miss y'all <laughs> and um it's been rough it's really been rough i'm just so glad 2020 is gone and you know what a friend of mine said that <laughs> This is not, I'm just going to put it out there. Said for the last finale, 
when when they give when Donald Trump is like eleven fifty nine when he's walking out the building, he gonna push the button, <laughs> and that's gonna be his last and final act. Now I'm laughing about it now, but I don't never trust what a mentally ill narcissist psychopath uh, will do. So um, although I'm laughing about it, I'm but very serious. <laughs> so that may be what he does for a grand finale. Now for the rest of y'all, those y'all Karens and I just don't know how we're going to put this country back together again. Because y'all walking up on people and asking them for their papers and all that stuff, that really needs to stop. Because a lot of y'all are getting hurt. A lot of y'all are getting knocked out and slapped down and punched in the face. And, um, and it's really unnecessary because all you have to understand that this is a teachable moment for you to let you know that society have ingrained in you something that is so... Um, it's not your fault. Now, I'm not blaming you at all. But it has given you a false sense of who you are and who you have been. In a way, though, you have been all that because that's the way the society was is running. However, as the numbers get um, larger, as we become more elevated and more uh, intelligent as a society, we see very clearly, even those of us that, that want to dismiss it, we can see the madness and the inequality, the uh, 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 second citizenship, you know, citizenship treatment, the blatant disrespect. And so it's just not acceptable. It was never acceptable. But now you, you've created a generation that is like, are you crazy? I ain't putting up with my mama and what my grandmama did. Look, I know, trust me, I talked to them. They ain't putting up with half of the stuff my grandmama didn't put up with. Or my parents, for that matter. You know? Uh, my father was an activist in the 60s. And there is nothing... Uh, there's a lot of activism that's just the same. And it hasn't changed. So a lot of people think that you know, people back then were so um, docile, you know, or just like they think the slaves never rebelled. All I'm saying is this generation now is hooked on Percocet and Molly's. And that was not never, um, <laughs> there's a lot in this generation, I'm trying to say, that's going to battle. Not all, but there's an element that's out here real bad um, that are even reflecting some of that behavior on the bus stops, um, on the buses, on the subways, and you can see them. You're like, these these some damn well problem children. So you hate to see y'all run up on one of them kids because it's gonna be not nice. You know, it's not gonna be nice for either one. It's not gonna be nice for the black person, the black kid. That's probably going to do some serious time once he hits you and knock you out. And it's not going to go well for you. Um, like the brother that took the woman out of the Wendy's and took her and just dumped her down in a parking lot. And as an elderly person, I just all I could think about was my rump. And all I kept saying was, oh my God. Oh, he done broke something. He broke a tailbone. If you think, if, don't, if some of y'all don't know what bursitis is. Or a sciatica, but let me tell y'all one god darn thing. <laughs> Woo -hoo. If somebody put you down on your butt like that, child, let me tell you. Anyways, I hope for you Karens and you Kevins or whoever else y'all leave people alone. Uh, hopefully, uh, a lot of y'all will go and repent. Go, y'all, go and to confession and tell how you had a chance to purge um, for the last four years uh, with this insane president and also know that you'll 
you're not going to be able to do that again. Because now that we are aware of what's going on with this president and the one coming in, because he's just, um, well, just, let me just say this. Let me just say this before I get off on a tangent. Let's just glad. Let's just be glad that we don't have to have the same the, the anxiety collectively as a nation that Donald Trump was putting on us. Now, with that being said, I want to stick to the positive. I want to congratulate the Californias and the governor of California for putting uh, the reparations conversation um, up on the table. So, if not in my lifetime, in my grandbaby's lifetime, she she understands that whatever financial blessing that she's about to receive, it was because of her great, 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 great grandmother who was a slave. Okay? And so she does have slavery in her lineage. And um, that means she's got somebody in her lineage that worked real, 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 real hard. And for that, I'm thankful. Um, for the acknowledgement, just like the Jewish people, when they say never again, I think black people are collectively saying never again, never again. So, with that being said, I love you all. I don't want to stay on here too much. You know, I said I will be sucking up my memory. And I cannot do that. My computer will crash. But I'm going to try to stick uh, one or two of them in before, um, you know, before it gets here. I just can't load up as much. Uh, so, with that being said... Happy New Year. I hate to even say that, you know, because it seems in my everything in my energy, y'all, says New Year starts in the spring when you see the budding of the trees and the uh, puppies and the newness of the calves and the cows and the, and the horses, the, the foal, the uh, rabbits, everything being born. Everything comes out in the spring new, like the New Year, you know, and I try to get back on balance as much as I can, even when I'm taking this time out, because in my spirit, Ak means eight. So how is Ak, October the 10th month? It's just somebody designed that to throw me off. So I'm saying Happy New Year to you, but everything in me is saying, no, everything now is dead, and you got a chance to clean it up. For when the spring get here. And that's when the newness is going to reflect what's happening in your spirit. Get back on tune. Get back in tune with, with, with who we are. Not who they say we are. Okay? Not, and I mean that as a society. Get back in tune. And stop being so damn hypocritical. And just look at the signs. You know, if that makes any sense. You know, sometimes when you get to be the old crone, nothing makes sense anymore. But, <laughs> you know, you know. but I'm hoping that it does, okay? So, again, I want to say thank you to for putting me up on the fact that my video didn't go through. Thank you. Kenza, I appreciate that. Everybody else out there, all of you, from Tafrica to, oh, my God, to Lennon. To creative, pro creative process, to I mean, just each and every one of y'all who have pulled my coat on something, who participated, y'all already know. I'm glad that you come into another year with me, and um, let's make this year a lot more, cause I can bring it, y'all. I can bring it. I just need to put myself in a situation where I can really, really um. Uh, um, focus and give this channel the attention that it needs and that cannot happen until I get some more memory alright so I'm going to go and I'll see y'all
in the next video. And I hope it got sound. Bye-bye.